you guys see they now have an aerial sum sum? I can't find it. Hey guys, I'm Jess, and today on Beauty Pop, I'm gonna do a, another tutorial using the Beauty and the Beast palette from La Rock. Yes, that's where it's from. And today I'm gonna do a more daring look. My first one was more like, you could kind of wear it anytime, any place, anywhere. But this one I'm gonna do more like a colorful look using the Beast Mode color, which is an awesome blue tone, which I never really use. And I have my Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt on. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. So as you can see, I have my whole face already done. Like I have my eyebrows, everything done. So I just need to apply my shadow. And I really love this palette. The pigmentation on the shadows are awesome. And they're really easy to blend just like the Pirates palette. Let me find a brush real quick. To start off, I'm going to use Look Beyond right here as my crease color and I'm just going to apply that with a fluffy brush, fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to put that in my crease and carry it down on my lower lash line. Just kind of connect everything um, which I normally like to do anyways. First of all, do you guys watch Rain? I am addicted to that show and it just like had the season finale. Spoiler alert! If you watch it and you haven't watched the season finale yet, you need to. And it's it's like disappointing because there's no happy ending. But it, there kind of is a happy ending because when she dies, like she goes back with Francis and I, I cried. I cried so many times. But then it was sad because she wanted to have this baby and she was all about having her baby and stuff. And she died trying to have this baby and then she had nothing to do with the baby's life. And that's just really, really sad. I wish they would have just killed that king because he was obviously insane because of his um, things he liked to do. <laughs> and just killed him, got away with it, whatever. And then she got to be with that one guy that was her like bodyguard. He was pretty cute. And got to be with her son. Like That would have been a better ending I think because it would have been more like a happy ending even though I think in real life she was beheaded really young I feel like I looked this up a really long time ago because I started watching it from the very beginning and I was like oh what happens <laughs> just to see if they're kind of like true to it and I'm pretty sure she gets beheaded but a lot younger than she's portrayed being beheaded in the TV show but she's really really pretty so I'm kind of sad, but also kind of happy about the ending. I just wish it would have been happier. What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below if you watch Rain. Love it. And if you don't watch Rain, watch it because you'll love it if you like period um, TV shows or movies and stuff because it's all, I don't know what time period that is, like 1800s? I don't know. A really long time ago. So now that I did my crease, I'm just gonna go in with a little darker tone. I'm gonna go in with Impress. It's this really pretty brown color. And I'm just going to stick that in my crease as well. And kind of like the outer edge. I need a brush though, just kind of lightly to give something for that blue to go on to. And I need to finish Girl Boss. That was really good. I liked it. I really want to watch this new Netflix TV show that's coming out. Or Netflix original. I think it's Netflix. Or was it Hulu? I get those confused. But it has Lily Collins in it and Keanu Reeves. And it's about um, like anorexia and stuff. And I just really want to watch it because I love Lily Collins. She's amazing. And I love Keanu Reeves. He's gorgeous. What's not to love? <laughs> So I'm just kind of deeping up, like making this more deep. So whenever I put the blue on the outer corner, it doesn't look as intense. So just kind of blending that out, putting it on the bottom. Just using my finger to kind of blend it together as well. So for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this eyeliner from La Rock. It's black. So I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. I'm 
I'm just gonna take this smudger brush from e.l.f. and smudge that out. So now I'm gonna go into beast mode, which is an amazing blue color right there. And I'm going to use this tiny, tiny little brush to kind of focus it on the outer corner of my eye. Boom, look at that color, it's insane. I'm just kind of putting it on the lid, on the outer half of the eye. And I'm going to take it, I'm gonna take it under um, the lower lash line as well. Now I'm just gonna go back with that blending brush and I'm going to blend this line I've got here so it kind of melts together a little bit better. Well, that blue is intense. I love it. And then I'm just kind of topping that off with a little bit more blue because blending it together kind of lost some pigment. Now I'm taking Enchanting this color. It's a really, really pretty gold. And I'm just going to use a flat e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And it's just like this. I'm gonna dip into that gold. And I'm just going to pat that onto my lid, this part here, kind of blending into the blue. This gold is really pretty. And now I'm just taking my finger and dipping back into that gold and kind of just making it more intense. Kind of melting it into the blue. And to highlight, I'm going to use Dream It. It's probably my favorite highlight color in this whole palette. I really like it. And I'm using this e.l.f. smudge brush I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. And I'm using this Wonder Woman brush. Can I just get on the inner corner here? And I'm just taking a Kabuki brush and I'm just going to wipe off the excess that might have fallen on my cheeks. And that's pretty much it with shadow. So now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. eyelash curler and curl my lashes. Ugh, try not to get your hair stuck in it. And I'm taking Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and then the Tarte Light Camera Lashes and I'm going to apply eyeliner to the top lash line and then apply mascara to both the top and bottom lash lines. Her top and bottom lashes, there we go. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any other video suggestions you would like to see from me, make sure and leave me a comment down below in the disc in the comments. And also hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. And you can find me here on social media. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this look. And check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos and click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys!